Hello, this is Toll from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quickie for beginners. And the previous tutorial, we did a quick tip on how to properly, properly uh, design hair in Blender, how to properly style it by dividing it up into sections. So with this uh, Blender Quickie, I'm going to show you how you can actually style a, an actual hairstyle in Blender. Now I've downloaded this uh, image offline. This is a uh, guy has a pompadour. I think that's what it's called, pompadour hairstyle. And we're going to uh, actually make this hairstyle in Blender. Now I've already gone through the process of creating the scalp from a human mesh. You can see how that was done in the previous tutorial <coughs> for Blender quickies or Blender quick, quick tips. And so what I'm going to do now is divide this head up, the scalp up, skull cap into two sections, one for the pompadour upper part of the hairstyle and the second part is for the uh, kind of shaved uh, part down here. So I'm going to select my element here and I'm going to go uh, activate my uh, shape keys. Hopefully they'll work and not crash blender. But let's give it a shot. Turn this on. Let's move this up to the left and move it up. Okay, it looks good. And now I'm going to press tab and go into edit mode. And I subdivided this scalp to make it give it more um, surface to work with with the hair particle system. I'm going to hold down alt, go into edge select mode, actually go hold down alt on my keyboard. And let me see, press through, let's see where we can actually position this properly. Let's see, let's say, let's just make it right here. Alt and then left click and then press control E and then mark seam I'm gonna save that file save and then I'm going to go into my uh, vertex tab here click on that go into face select create two vertex groups one two one for the top of the hair and the second one for the side shaved part of the head of the scalp double click that name this to top hair Ooh. top hair enter double click that and name this side hair enter I'm gonna go to the top the first vertex group and in face select mode I'm gonna left click on any face of the mesh here and press control L and then click assign. I'm going to make sure that the weight is all up the way up to one. Press A on the keyboard to deselect that. Let's go down to the side here. Do the same thing. Click on any face. Press control L and assign. And let's make sure that we've selected everything. But let's file save it first. Make sure we've selected everything. So let's click on our top hair and press select so that's been assigned to that A D D selected go to our side hair select again that has been selected so that's we're in good shape there so that's all set and now we're going to set up our particle system so we're going to click on this uh, tab here the particle properties tab left click on that once again double click one two and click on that and press and type in top hair so that it's is what we typed in for the vertex group. This is good to name everything so you can keep track of what you're doing in Blender. So top hair. And double click there and do side type in side hair. And file save. Now I don't know why this has been a long issue in Blender when you change the name of your particle system doesn't reflect in the the tab below which I don't know why that is but just click in there and type in top hair enter go to the next one same process side hair and enter file save that and now for our top hair we're gonna leave everything the way it is the number of hairs the seed and all that and we're going to scroll down to vertex groups. Let's uh, expand the options here. And then density, left click in there and click top hair. But let's get out of it so we can see what we're doing. Let's scroll back up and go from emitter to hair. 
And we're going to activate the children because we need more hair than what we have here. Children and click on interpolated and that gives us more to work with. Now in your final render it will be more than this. It's just in the viewport it's limited to this number of hair that way it doesn't slow down the user interface of Blender. Let's click file save again. And we're going to do the same process for the side of the scalp here. Scroll up go to side hair click on hair leave everything the way it is children interpolate it I'm going to scroll all the way down to vertex group and density click in there and click side hair and now it's been separated it's into the two sections now for the side hair obviously it's shorter than the top hair so we're going to reduce the uh, the length of it. Let's say point to click in there and type in point to enter. And it might be a little bit shorter than necessary, so let's make a little bit longer. Click in there again and type in point for enter. Make a little bit longer. And file save. And one thing you have to keep in mind is that once you start uh, going into the particle system, you activate the particle system when it comes to the hair system. All of this will be grayed out because it's going to just pretty much um, accept that as your final as your final settings for the hair, but don't worry about that. You can change the length of it and all that in the particle systems tab, which is over here. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the top of his hair. Well let's work on the side first. Okay, we're gonna press through on our keyboard and make sure that side hair is selected here. And then we're gonna go over here, go from object excuse me, object to particle edit. And then we're going to change the uh, setup here from those strands to these uh, another particle selection display mode which is the points which is what I like to work with. And we're going to just make sure we have comb selected and keep it on the same strength and we're just going to comb down. Now you can go to particle and then click on mirror and sometimes this does work and sometimes it doesn't but just click on it just to activate it. We're going to comb down. You can comb down and you can come into the side also just to kind of emulate what's going on with his hair. Okay, I'm going to comb down here. And then let's go to the side view again three and let's comb it back a little bit on the side. And comb down again. Okay, and then press Control 3 to get the other side, the left side, this, not the right side. Come this back again. See, we activated the mirror, but it's not really uh, reflecting in the viewport. So just keep in mind that sometimes the mirror uh, option works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, we've done that. Let's go back into object mode and see how that looks, and it's down which looks good. If we have to make any more uh, corrections to it, we'll do that. But let's get the top. Now you can see the top is kind of, uh, I don't know if you can call this feathered or tapered, but the front part is longer than what's going back. We want to kind of emulate that with the hair also in our uh, simulation here. Let's press through on our keyboard and let's scroll up make sure we select top hair and then click on object and go to particle system and we just want to comb this up on the side we're going to comb it all back and one thing you have to kind of keep in mind with particle systems especially when you want to render this out just make sure you keep the settings the way they are in terms of the number of, of particles uh, because when you try to render this out as it is and you add more uh, hair particles to it it's really going to slow down your system your computer quite a bit, it's going to lag quite a bit so once you've styled the hair and, you, and it is where you want it to be that's when you can add, actually add more hair to it and I'll show you how to do that also let's press control 3 to go to the other side control 3 and do the same here 
because like I said before, sometimes the mirroring doesn't work. So you just have to kind of check it yourself to make sure that it's working the way you want it to work. Let's press one, go into front view, and you can see that it's not, it hasn't coned up that side of the hair for some reason. Press control three again. Let's try to comb this up. This is what you have to kind of have the patience for in Blender. And I think it's in any 3D software, actually, because sometimes things don't work the way they're supposed to. And you just have to kind of just bear through it and be patient enough to just deal with it as it is and kind of troubleshoot as you go. And that's going to save you a lot of frustration in the end. Okay, it looks good. I'm trying to create that pompadour here. And as I said, at the beginning of this tutorial, the front is longer than the size or the back when it comes to this section of the hair. And we have to simulate that. So we're going to click on length and just cause the front parts to grow. So we're going to click on length, this uh, tab here. We're going to press here and then pull this up. I keep pulling that up. Okay. So get from the side, let's press 3 with our keyboard. We're going to kind of shave this part down. We want it to look kind of layered like it is here. So let's press on our scissors and turn the strength down a bit. That's kind of high. Kind of cut this down a little bit. Okay. Let's pivot around. Let's see how this actually looks. So I've got some, we've got some length issues. So let's press Control One to get it looking from the back here, and then get some more length in the front. So we want the length. We want, we want the front to be somewhat even. Let's turn around with our mouse here. It looks looks pretty good. Control One again. Look at it from the back, and let's reposition our window. I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Cut it down just a little bit in the front. So that it's all kind of level. Okay. Let's go to three on our keyboard's position. Now we're going to comb all this back. Let's go back to our comb. And we're going to just comb it back. And when you style hair in Blender, and plus in any 3D software, you have to pretty much kind of visualize yourself as a barber pretty much and from what I've seen from uh, watching barbers work on people's hair they do a lot of back and forth with the hair you know, a lot of repositioning their clients you know what I mean just really making sure that they're looking at the hair from every single angle that they can just to give the client the best result that they can and it's the same thing in uh, 3D animation when it comes to hair. You have to keep looking around, looking at, it like, looking at it from different angles, just to make sure that the hair is looking the way it's supposed to look. And you have to keep in mind that if you style hair, if this is like your first time of you know styling a hairstyle in Blender or in any 3D, anim 3D software, you might not get it right the first time. It's, it, might not, it might not look that good. But you just have to keep in mind not to give up. Just keep going. Because when, it, when you think about it, whenever I've looked at credits uh, for movies, they've assigned like groups of people in movies just to work on hair only. That's all they do in, in, the, in an animation. Just work on hair and fur. That's it. Nothing else. Because it's just such a complicated you know, uh, process to get the hair looking somewhat decent and somewhat right. Okay, so yeah, never give up. Just keep practicing, and eventually you'll you'll get pretty good at it. Okay, we're gonna look at this. Now this looks uh, from the side. Control three. It looks good, but once, like I said before, when you start pivoting around, you start seeing that it's got some some hair sticking up over here, and, and it's not really uh, as flat as we would like it to be. Now I think the hair kind of tapers um, as it goes back, kind of tapers or, or tappers whatever how, however it's pronounced tap, tapers towards the middle at the back let's press 7 on our keyboard and let's comb it so it's kind of goes towards the middle of his of his of the scalp pull this to this side also 
Okay. Let's kind of pivot around with our mouse, see how that looks. It looks pretty good. Let's comb this down a little bit. Let's pivot some more, do a little bit more grooming. And when, when you work on hair also, or fur, it's just good to just, like I said before, just have a lot of patience with it. Don't like rush sections of it. Don't like try to like get it perfect the first time, like kind of rush through the combing process or the cutting process or the lengthening process. Just take your time and just, you know, just carefully groom it. Just pretend that this is somebody that you care about. You know what I mean? You want them to look good on their special day. So you want to, you know, make sure that you, you know, you, you look at, you're looking out for them in terms of how they look, how their appearance looks. So let's go into object mode and see how this looks. It looks pretty nice. Okay. And now we want to kind of puff it up in the front. So let's press through on our keyboard. But let's first of all save this file. Save. Let's reposition our scalp. And it's kind of puffed up in the front. To puff it up in the front, we're going to go to the puff tool. Which is, let me see, puff. There it is. We're going to kind of puff it up in the front. So we're just going to take our, let's press control Z because it just puffed up the whole thing in the front. Let's kind of reduce the strength of it and the radius of it maybe that'll help not so that's in like take the whole front of it up like that so that was kind of unexpected or instead of using puff you can you still use comb let's go back to comb because that seems to be a safer choice here get okay, that looks better so just comb it up let's comb all this up over here just do it one step at a time, a little bit at a time. And once again, the mirror has been activated, but it's not really working like it's supposed to. So let's just just pivot around and just uh, manually do it ourselves. Control three to go to the the uh, the right side, and do the same thing on this side also. I'm gonna pull the hair up. And just take your time with doing this. Keep puffing up the hair in the front. The puff tool, sometimes that works well, sometimes it doesn't. But the safe tool would be the, the comb tool. Okay, we're just combing all this up. Let's just make sure that the front part has been combed up properly. Press one on our keyboard to go to the front view. Now you see how, how right here it looks fine. When we go into the front position, the, the straight on front facing position, this side is a little bit higher than it's supposed to be. So we're going to kind of take care of that. So let's keep combing up the hair in the front. Let's comb this down. Let's go to the side. Just pivot with your <coughs> with your mouse with your, with your uh, middle mouse button to get different positions. And just have a lot of patience just see this as a almost like a Bob Ross moment you know how Bob Ross for those who don't know who Bob Ross is he's a painter he passed on a while back but just Google Bob Ross and watch some of his, his uh, videos you'll see how calm he is you know he just tells all these kind of side stories to keep himself calm I think when he paints and he just used to use painting as a soothing process for himself I think and and that's how you gotta look at uh, this process also just as a soothing soothing situation okay we're looking around get more combing and you can spend more time on this as you feel you should or need to just to get the look that you would want so let's go back to object mode see how this looks okay yeah, let's press through in our keyboard. Okay, we're going to go to some settings. This is a good stopping point in terms of um, setting the hair to make it look more appealing. So we're going to go to the settings for our hair. Now, I've uh, made some notes on what the settings should be. Now, for the hair settings, for let's go to the render tab for, our hair, for the top hair. Make sure that the top hair is select, selected still. We're going to go down to the render tab and, and turn on B Pline. Let's click on that. Let's go down. Render. 
be blind, turn that on, and then uh, crank the steps up to five, and then save that. And we're going we're gonna to go to one more setting. Go back to my notes again, and I, we're going to turn on the clump tab. Okay, let's turn on the clumping. So that's going to go down to clumping, and we're going to turn uh, the value up to two. 0 0.026 enter and what that's going to do is, is bring the, the hair close together the, when I've looked through the settings for uh, a lot of the uh, settings that the hair has and these two seem to work the best if you just work with these two you get better results you can work with everything else you can try out the roughness and the kink and things like that <coughs> but I've tried those out and sometimes you get some kind of really wacky results which you don't want. So we're going to now look at this in terms of the final results and we're going to actually add a material to this. So with the scalp selected, let's go up to render first. We don't want the uh, scalp mesh to be rendered at all. We just want the hair to be rendered. So we're going to scroll up to render. Under the hair setting, you can turn off show emitter and that will turn off the uh, scalp itself. And then we're going to scroll down to the material tab, click on that, add new. And let's type in hair. Let's name it hair. <coughs> and then use nodes. Oh, actually, nodes are already activated. So we're going to divide this window up and go to the shader editor. Click in there. And then we're going to scroll up here first and turn this from EV to cycles. From CPU to GPU. If your if your uh, computer or your, your laptop has a strong graphics card, you can use the GPU, which is faster. Click File and Save. And you have to note that in Blender, Blender has a new uh, hair shader in Blender called the Principal Hair Shader, and it only is activated and works in cycles. If you're an EV and try to activate it, it's not going to show up in your uh, in your shader editor. So we're going to select that node and press delete and press shift A. Go to shader and we here have principal hair shader and this saves a lot of time, a lot of time. We're going to go from the red coloring to melanin concentration. Then just connect BSDF to surface and that's it. File, save and now we're going to see how this looks and then we're going to let's change the color of our world from gray to white or just lighter color that we can see it better and I'm going to turn on the uh, cycles render so you can see how this looks okay so it looks kind of rough because it's showing it in the viewport so let's render this out and see how it looks then it might take a long time to render, so what I'll do, if it takes longer than I think it will, what, we could, what I'll do is I'll pause the uh, recording and I'll come back with the rendered results of the hair. But I'm going to reposition my camera. To, do the, to reposition your camera and your viewport, uh, I want it from the, let's say, let's get it from this angle. So go to View, Align View, then Align at the camera to select it, or sorry about that, View. Align view, align active camera to view. That's what we want. We're going to reposition this G on the Z axis and then G on Y to pull it out a little bit and then G on X. Okay. And G on X again, pull it out a little bit more. G on Y. And then G on Z to bring it up. A file save. And then F12 to render. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Pretty strong graphics card. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, so, so that's that's what we're looking for. Yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for. So this is the pompadour that I'm referring to. You see, the clumping has helped to 
bring the hairs close together. And by using the new principal shader PSD on um, the hair system as the material, it's actually giving us the right combination of light with um, interaction of light with the thickness of the hair. So as we scroll in, you can see how it just kind of shimmers there. But we can increase the side of our of the, the hair, the side hair a little bit. Let's turn this off and go to File, Save. And let's go to our hair settings again. Let's go to the side of our hair. See hair particles. Let's click on our scalp. Hair particles, let's scroll up and go to side hair. Like I said before, here, as you can see, once we've gone into the particle editing system, it's grayed out all everything over here, so we can't add we can't add more hair here. But let's see if we can add more hair to the children, which we can. So let's bump this up to this is how you can add more hair. You can you can also add more hair to uh, a particle system by going to particle edit and this add. But once you activate that part of it, sometimes it works great and sometimes it doesn't. But when you activate it, make sure you turn on, you click on interpolate it, interpolate because when you do that, uh, it'll add the hair according to what, the way that the pre-existing hair is lying because this has been combed down. So if we click on add and interpolate it, turn that on, when we add hair to it, the, the new hair is going to lay down the same way as the old hair is laying down. So keep that in mind. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to add more hair to the children. So right now, on the side of the hair, we have uh, the rendered amount at 100. Let's make this 200. Enter. And then File and Save. And let's get another angle of our hair so we can see it a little bit better. Let's get it from the side like his hair is. So let's press 3 on our keyboard. And then we're going to go to View again. Uh, align view and align active camera to view. Okay, we're going to click on our camera and grab it on the x axis, I think, to pull it out some more. There we go. And go to file and save and F12 again. See the result of that, adding more hair to the side of the scalp. And if it takes too long, I'll pause it and then show you guys the rendered results of the hair. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Okay, that's that's good. And yes, see we've added more hair to the side, and the pompadour is looking pretty pompy. Okay, it looks looks good. So that's how we can <coughs> excuse me create a hairstyle in Blender so, so just pretty easily by just dividing it into different sections and working on each section separately from the other section and the more uh, I guess parts of a hair that have style to it that's how you're gonna have to divide it up into those sections so if, if you have like maybe bangs in the front divide that up from the rest of the hair so you can just work on the bangs by themselves you have you know the curly twist on the side or whatever or maybe a mullet you know just divide the hair up into different sections and according to how the hairstyle looks on your reference image and that's how you can get a very very creative and easy way of sculpting or creating hair in Blender or creating hairstyles in Blender and uh, that was today's quick tip or Blender quickie for beginners so really appreciate you guys once again for watching the video and I hope you guys are learning from this because I actually record these videos to help you guys but not only to help you guys but to help myself because I reference my videos quite a bit in terms of um, going back to understand what I need, I need to do but thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. And those of you who are subscribing now, really appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.